everybody, it's the program. Here we are on TV once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines, and then we start talking, and we're going to be here for an hour. Happens every day on TV. Here we are. Hi, Bird. Hey, Kenny. How are you doing today? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing great. Awesome. Yeah, we're on TV, so when was the last time you were here? Uh, let me think. Uh, was it Tuesday? Tuesday. Today is, uh, sat Saturday. Yeah, I think it was with, when I was here with Larceny. Oh, yeah. Oh, how was that? How did he do? Um, how did he do? Where did he go? Um, well, he is in, he's, uh, for all I know, he's in, he's hiking on a major... Oh, he made the, to the em Emerald, what's it called? Yes. Uh, Emeralds? I can't remember. Enchanted. Enchanted. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, he, he's scheduled to get back tomorrow or the next day, so I'm looking forward to hearing how it went. You got some sparkling there. I got some juice. <clears throat> I wonder uh, how it is. How the juice is? Yeah, it's I'm sure apple, good. raspberry, 100% juice. How can it be 100% juice? It's got know, bubbles in it. That's what it says. Those bubbles don't juice. count. The bubbles don't count as stuff? Um, you're asking the wrong guy. Yeah, maybe I should ask them, the people. I think the bubbles count as stuff. It can't be 100%. Maybe Maybe they have a phone number. 99%. Something like that, I think. Yeah. You see yeah. anything on the streets in the last couple of days here? Well, I did see the... Um, yeah, I've seen quite a bit. Ship in port. Oyster House demolition, sand in the city, um, high tide just now, pretty high. More and tides. Yep. You are you uh you're always watching those tides. Do you have like a moon. calendar or something? The moon. Well, I was going by Percival Landing and I looked over and I saw how high the water was and it interested me uh -huh. and and it's always interested me. You know the way. It, the tide fluctuates is a item of interest for me and um, are you following it outside of the actual tides or just going out there and looking are you trying I to follow it sometimes and like for example today when I see a really high tide I will sometimes look it up after the fact and see how high the tidal prediction was and compare the actual tide to the predicted tide and try to figure out what <coughs> you know, how it accounts for the discrepancy or whatever, and it's interesting. It's all really connected to the moon cycle and solstices and equinox and um, the solely lunar Earth relationship. So it's been a topic of interest for me. Olympia has one of the highest tidal fluctuations of any place on the Earth. Uh, most places don't experience 20-foot tide fluctuation. Oh, really? Yeah. A lot of places, like in Massachusetts around Cape Cod, mm -hmm. they only have two or three-foot tides. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. So we, are, uh, uh, we have a special thing here that we maybe we're taking for granted then, huh? Yeah, I mean, it, it could be like a... A tourism thing. I think even other places in the Puget Sound don't have such, you know, massive tidal fluctuations as here. But I don't, I don't know about. That would be a really long tourist destination. Well, yeah, come to Olympia, drink some coffee, smoke some cannabis, and check out the cool tides. Watch the tides go for like uh, two days. You'd have to watch the tides for days to watch the flow, right? Or how long? How does it? Is the tides go from the day to the night, or is it? From day to day, I don't even know. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, it's twice a day. Two high tides every day, two low tides, roughly. You know, every six hours, every six and a half hours, it it uh, goes low to high, high to low. Have you ever actually watched it go, like, all the way? No, I'm, I mean, I've always kind of wanted to. Um, last winter, during one of the largest fluctuations, I went down there at night 
when it was like 1 a.m. was the low tide, super low. It was like minus three feet. And I went to Percival Landing and those floating docks were actually resting on the mud. Ooh. It, I've never seen it that low. Wow. It's very cool to see that. And then less than six hours or somewhere around six hours later, I returned and it was one of the highest tides. Wow. And so it was the difference between the low and the high was really cool to see and I tried to photograph in the same location you know but it would definitely be better just to like leave the camera in place um, time lapse yeah you know to do like a, a video time lapse just let the video run the whole time that would be the coolest we're getting a personal phone call yeah so uh, that distracts me from something else that I was going to say. Oh, I wanted to talk about Ewoks. Like Star tree Wars? Yeah, like I wanted to talk about tourism and tree houses. This is my sister calling. Oh, uh, maybe you should answer. You can answer. Hey, Susie. Who's getting a personal Good, phone how call? Are you? Well, we'll listen to some messages while Bird's on the phone there. I'm going to go look at the sun. Oh, Kenny, what's going on? Hi, Susie. Hi, Susie. Yeah. Yes. We're uh, going to go look at some messages here while Bird's on the phone with his sister. Her sister was on the program. We're talking about Ty. A few months ago. Here it goes. I'm loading it up. I'm going to look at the messages. Oh, I don't know if we got, maybe nobody, we got no messages from last night or we're just looting. Oh. Uh, I think that's it. They built them in the desert? Oh. Okay. Okay. Looks like nobody left any messages from yesterday to okay. today. So last night was Friday night, maybe. Okay. We have no messages today. Susie says hi. Um, Hi, Susie. No messages. That's okay. People are busy, you know. Mm -hmm. People call the show if you want. If you don't want, that's cool. No pressure. We have old messages from We'd like it if from you Dan maybe, and Mr. Ginsu. We should probably call Dan Dobler because he called us yesterday. Definitely. But it was kind of late to call him back, so we'll call him now. You haven't been returning some of my calls. I'm persistent, though. I won't give up. I love you. What, what have you been calling mm. about? Um, I don't know. I've been texting some. We've been reading the text here. Oh, we have some video stuff. You want to show some of these videos? You had you have photos and videos, or just the the videos that we shot at the Sand in the City event? There? I have photos and videos. I have photos from Portland. Um, I have some music, street music that I want to show you. It's a fun thing, little thing, and just some photos and some nature trail photos. My passion really is nature and wilderness, and so I have some photos from. Eagle Creek, which is a really cool hike, about 40 miles east of Portland, Columbia Gorge, and there's like really steep cliffs. Uh -huh. It's a it's a crazy trail. Uh, it was built, I think, in the 20s, and they used dynamite to blast the hill out in order to make the trail. Whoa! And yeah, and it's really pretty phenomenal. Um, well, but before that, I want to talk about sand in the city. Um, maybe show the video later after the Portland stuff, but I w after um, I walked around with the camera a little bit, you were there for part of that. Mm -hmm. um, I volunteered at the demo booth because my friend Kyle Taylor Lucas, also known as Kyle Raven Taylor Lucas, is running for Tumwater City Council, and so I worked at the burger booth and. Um, City Council of Tumwater. Great. Yes. Um, she's totally qualified for the job. Really nice, kind, uh, compassionate person. Has really important experience as a person of color um, and a person who has lived in poverty. And so I think that. She's a great candidate. Retain. We have her flyer. 
She was appointed to the council, I think, in January. Oh, and wow. So she's been serving, a, you know, an appointment. How, how does I, that work? Why is she appointed? Um, because one of the council members stepped down or resigned. I can't remember why. I don't, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. I'm, you know, I'm not in Tumwater. I've been doing other stuff and haven't had enough time or energy to pay any attention. Philip, it's time for the desk game. It was great. And so I encourage everyone to check out her campaign and, and make sure to vote uh, in the election this fall. What happens uh -huh. if we get out of pen viewers and we run number our hands between one and six? We're gonna try to visualize the future when we roll the dice here. I'm getting a number. Okay, I have my number here. Uh -oh. We're rolling. Here you, you can roll. roll. Okay. Here we go. Shaking it up. Bird like Doing a thorough shake, yeah. Five. It's a five. I lost. Did you? Good camera work. Did you win? No, I lost. Well, we still have 3,500 points to go. Oh, you want to do a billion? We could do a billion today. Yeah, a billion. We We're have, changing it up. What? Five, five, uh, five billion potential points to go here. Yes. So. Well, I got five billion from the last show on Tuesday. But they don't. That was debatable. But we'll we'll call it a billion now. They don't uh, bridge. They don't bridge the days. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me let me hook up my camera here. Um, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the. Um, you gonna do the. I'm gonna do. Do the do, man. Uh, I'm gonna do this one first. Let's call Dan Dobler. Yeah, let's definitely call Dan Dobler. Let's call Lewis, too, actually. I think we should call Lewis first, because Lewis is in the... Uh, Lewis first. Lewis. Because it's Saturday. Because it's Saturday. Lewis came on every Saturday for years. Uh, maybe if you viewers, if you were, uh, you know, Saturday watchers, because I think a lot of people who watch the show are, you know, certain days of the week is when they can watch the show, because when they're home and they're not doing other stuff, maybe if you have a schedule... So if you're a Saturday viewer and you have been wondering, you know, where did Lewis go? We'll find out here. We'll call him. He may not answer. It's pretty late where he is. Hello, the program. Hi, Lewis. How you doing? Uh, I'm all right. I'm in the bar. It's really loud. You're, you're on a bus? What? That sounds like a fun bus. Uh, it sounds like a front back. One more time. Uh, I thought you just said it sounds like a front back. French bath? Yeah, I uh, I think I just didn't hear you right. Oh but yeah. Are you on the bus? Yeah, I was at a really busy place, and so now I'm. I left there. I'm standing outside of it. Oh, were you at a party? Uh, I was at a bar. Oh, uh, okay. How the bars in Wisconsin? Yeah. Um, they're okay. I mostly have gone to the same few. Actually, there's a show here, and the bartender was like, or not the bartender, the the doorman was like giving me a lot of shit. Like he asked me what year I was born, and then he called me Michael to like see if I corrected him. Mm-hmm. So you yeah, don't. They have, yeah, I think they have a lot of, a lot of people uh, make. What? There's a big fake ID industry for underage drinking. Yeah, I guess I also just got new glasses, but I have different glasses. Also, I'm wearing a one black glove. I think that's probably what triggered it. She's like, "What's with the glove?" And I was like, "I don't know, I don't know nothing." And then he's like, "Oh, okay. What he year were you born?" Also, my ID is really dirty. And is out of state, thing. also, right? Yeah, but I'm actually only one state over, so yeah. I would say it's less weird for me to have a Minnesota ID in Wisconsin than it is for me to have one in Washington. You never got a Washington ID the whole time, huh? Nope. I almost did when I thought I lost my license, but then I found it, so 
it just didn't seem worth 25 bucks when my other one wasn't expired. What's the, is there a theme of the bar? Or is it just bar, a bar? What? What, what, is, what kind of bar is it? Is it a sports bar? Uh, it's called Mickey's. So I guess it's kind of an Irish bar, but it's kind of just like a, um, it's uh, like a mix of the Voyeur and the Brotherhood, kind of. It's like the, they have a back patio, and they serve like organic food and shit, and they have shows sometimes. Is this the hangout now? For you? Uh, I've been here a couple times, but also there's this one doorman that every time they have a show, the last time I came here to a show, the doorman was kind of a dick to me too. I don't know. But there's not that many, yeah, I don't know. I haven't really found that many places that I can go yet. They have the cheapest um, PBR on top that I found here. It's only 275 which it doesn't make any sense because it's brewed like a few hours away, but it's more expensive than it is in bars in Washington. Wow, yeah. It, it's in Milwaukee, is that Wisconsin? Yeah, Milwaukee's in Wisconsin. I, I would say it's between, it's probably like four hours away from Madison, which is where I am. Brewed like four hours away, but it's more expensive here for some reason. What's, what's Madison famous for? What do people go to Madison for? Uh, uh, there's the University of Wisconsin. Jeez. Uh, it's the capital of Wisconsin, so, uh, Scott Walker, the governor, I'm reading a lot about him. He's like a total dick, and he hates the unions, but he's the governor of Wisconsin, so he lives in Madison right now, and there's this one newspaper who just, like, they don't, they really don't like him, and they talk about all this, like, shady shit that he's doing, and how he's supposedly gonna run for president in 2016. Um, but I would say, yeah, mostly the the college, I would say it's the main claim to fame. So it's a it's like uh, a college oh, town uh, with a capital. The capital and it's a college town, so it's a, probably a similar place, huh? Yep. Yeah. There's also a river in the middle of the town too. So it's what? divided by a body of water, just like Olympia, but it's bigger than Olympia. What river is it? It's the Isthmus River. Uh. Is it underground? No. Above Sub ground. <laughs> Isn't, is the, um... Above ground river. <laughs> is the, uh, uh... Is Minneapolis the capital? Of Iowa? Or no, St. Paul is the capital. Oh, okay. Minnesota. But Minneapolis and St. Paul are right next to each other. Yeah, they're the twin cities. Does it have a dome? Did you go to the Capitol yeah. Dome in Madison there? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, the, the Capitol... It's like right next to the main downtown spot, so you can, if you're facing towards the west, you can see the capital, like, most of the time. Similar to Olympia, like, maybe. Yeah, like, yeah, it's like we're, like, the, the main downtown area and the capital and the university are all, like, right next to each other. Oh. What, do they have a dome? Hmm? Do they have a capital dome? You know, like, a, the, the building? Yeah, it, yeah, it looks, I mean, it looks like any other capital dome. Which one is, is better? Like you think Olympia? has a point. The Olympia Dome what? or the Madison Dome, which one is bigger or better, in your opinion? Oh, um, I don't know. I don't really think I, I um, I don't have an opinion. All that. right. I would say they're both, they're both domes, they're both, like, big ornate buildings, um, uh, one thing, to go back to Scott Walker, so there's, like, these people who really don't like him, so they're protesting him by singing in the Capitol, and they've been arresting them a lot. That's the most, the most I know about the Capitol, is people are getting arrested in the Capitol for singing, like, protest songs. Um, and oh. now they're, like, getting so extreme with it, and now it's, like, not even people who are singing, it's just, like, people who are, if they stop to look at it, then there are cops there that say they're going to get arrested, even if they're not doing anything other than looking at the other people. Wow. That sounds worse. So I think in Olympia, if that happened, nobody would get arrested. Yeah. Um. Oh, it, it's info. Yeah. Six, so. It's info time. Five, four, oh. three, two, you one. You're going to this bird? No. Oh, you want to try a little bit there? See if you can remember her. Right. 
on the program. You're watching it right now. It's the Over Daily Hour with me. It's the call in television talk show film right here in Thirsty County every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It airs every day at 11 30 p.m. on TCTV Channel 22. Uh, also, every day at 2 a.m. or something. How am I doing on time? Great, um, you're perfect. I forgot. You're doing good. Yeah. What? Same, previous year, same oh. month, day. You can also watch on YouTube.com. Anyone can be on the program. Especially, Especially you. you. Especially you. Give us a call, 360-836-4384. Leave a message. We'll call you back. On the next episode, thank you for watching. Man, I totally forgot the second half. Yeah. Well, that was you, pretty good, though. Yeah, Just you got more, you got you got almost word for word in the beginning there. Yeah, I would have fucked up with the phone number though, because I still have the old one memorized. Yeah. Um, you see, uh, is there a lot of uh, crazy people on the streets there? Uh. Mm, no, no, I don't think I've seen any what interesting on the streets. I got, I got a job finally at the video store. Oh, at starting that, tomorrow. At the one that you were wanting to. Yeah, I just had to wait a month and a half. That's not that bad. Are they open? Are they gonna be stay open? Are they doing well? I I don't really know how to answer that. And you're gonna you're you're gonna be renting hopefully. videos. So you get to watch movies yeah, while I'm you're there. Videos. What? You get to watch them while you're there? Yeah, there's a there's a TV screen that's playing movies all the time. So I probably won't be able to pay attention 100% of the time. But also I get free rentals. Whoa. Because I work there. It's like a... So I think I'm even expe expected to watch a lot of movies because I work there. I think it's going to be high fidelity. It's like high fidelity. Oh, yeah. Or Empire... Or somebody said it was like that movie Empire Records. Cause yeah. It's, like, going to close and they have to save it. But I've never seen that movie. But maybe I'll have the opportunity to watch it, and it'll be, like, super ironic if I'm playing it in the video store and we're in that type of situation. Yeah, I think in the movie they uh, they get a celebrity to show up, and that's how they try to save it. Oh, yeah, actually, the funny thing is, the four-star, it was um, Roger Ebert really liked it. Uh, but he's dead now, so he can't really save it. But my friend Andy was thinking about asking his widow to maybe invest in the store, but I don't know how far he really got with that. But there's a bunch of pictures of Roger Ebert um, in the store and stuff. Yeah, you should get a, a chunk of his money. I mean, I bet they got a bunch of... He left a fortune, and if he's uh, that much into it, maybe they will. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Also, my yeah, my friend who's maybe going to buy it doesn't really have any business experience, so I don't want to give him a loan. Oh. But something, something will happen. What do you? We're, we're oh, looking at it's okay. sand in the city here in Olympia. Do you remember? Uh, we're going to be looking at some video footage of that. There's what? There's what? There's the what? What? Sand in the city. Sand uh, in which city? In, in Olympia. Olympia. Oh, okay. Do you remember? You don't remember sand in the city, or did you ever go to it? I I don't wait. What Dan in the city? No, sand, like on the beach, in the desert. I I don't really know what you're talking about. Sand, you know, so sand. I guess I never went to it. It's a festival. Sand. Sand. Sand, do you know what like I'm saying? Like an M&M song? No, sand like like at the beach or in a sandbox. Oh, sand. Okay. Sand in the city. Yeah. No, it be stand. We should have another festival called Stand in the City. And then we just go out there and stand around. It's like Earth Walk could be called Stand in the City, I guess. Oh, yeah. Well, that would be Walk in the City, though. Oh, yeah, Walk in the City. I mean, I guess you have to stand to look at the art, unless you're mobile art viewing. I think we could, yeah, we, maybe we should something called Scanner City, but maybe it would be... No. 
accessible. Uh, well, and anything else on the streets out there? Do you see any wildlife? Uh, what kind of wildlife uh, they have out there? Maybe the foliage is the foliage different. The foliage? Yeah, and the wildlife and stuff like your environment. Uh, yeah, there it's, it's a lot warmer. I kind of have allergies actually from being here. Also, there's a shit ton of rabbits. I see rabbits like every goddamn day. Whoa, in the city? Can yeah, just like hopping in people's yards. Wow. Also, the people, uh, my friend Derek and Emily, who I'm staying with, they have a cat, and the cat always um, kills animals and sometimes tries to bring it in the house. And they always lose the gut on the walkway, and there's flies around the gut. Is that and Zoe? Kills and eat. What? Is that Zoe? Zoe? Yep. That great. Zoe's the, the cat. cat. Will you say hi okay. to Emily and Derek for me? Yeah. I'd love that. Did Tell you know Derek that? that I think about him often. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, we just got some serious uh, digital feedback there. Are you still there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the last uh, sounds that you... Uh, made sound of like. Oh, okay. Is that an accurate uh, representation? It was. Oh, looks like the that's phone. A, the that's phones another way for me to say I, or I can't hear you. The phones are getting crazy. Okay. Okay, if you can't hear me, just gonna hang out. All right, thanks, Lewis. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, you was that all the pictures you had? Did we just looked at them without hearing about what they were, huh? What do you have more? Yeah. Um. That was basically some pictures around uh, Portland Rose Garden, mostly, and um, <clears throat> Eagle Creek, uh, Columbia Gorge, and um. Then, uh, mm, sorry, a little around Olympia, Oyster House, shipping, gill netting. There were some photos there of uh, gill net operation. What is that? That is when oh. the the uh, net is drawn around a group of fish and it's circled up and now all the fish get collected in the net. Somebody just fall down? I think they're dancing. Okay. Well, birds didn't come his camera here. We're going to look at some of the stuff. We went to sand in the city today, and we got some footage, so. Yeah, this is a different camera. This is going to be some of the same oh. stuff, but some videos. I'm just going to flip through this quick again. Okay. Okay, this is one of my favorite shots right here. Uh, this is at the end of the Eagle Creek hike, so I think we can just start here. This is just running water. Ooh, that's I love nice. That. This is in Portland. This is Eagle Creek, which is uh, a hike on near the Columbia Gorge, about 40 miles east of Portland. Wow, that is some nice reflections in there. Yeah, I I was just mesmerized. The it was so cool. I wish I could have just stayed there for an hour and watched that water flowing over the rock. You could just watch this video and repeat. Yeah. Probably not the same as the creek, though. Looks very clear. It was clear. There's some slime on the rocks in this area. It's a fish ladder there, and I don't know what was going on. Anyway, this is uh, at Multnomah Falls. This is an interesting video here. About a minute and a half, I just sort of liked it. Tried to do people shot of people going by. I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole thing. There's the people in there. There's sound on this. Is it? But is the sound not working? Yeah, that's okay though. Well, there it is. Oh, well, maybe we should go back to that water video. Is there sound in the water? Yeah. Halfway through the program. So we probably don't have time to watch all of the videos. 
Oh, we can skip through them. Yeah. Yeah. That that one was fun. Um, well, I want to hear that water is there. It was windy. There's a little breeze, so it's probably going to pick up the the wind more. Visualize the dice there game. There were some rapids there, but they weren't really um, happening. Here we go. Let's roll the dice real fast. Okay. Um, why well, don't I do these and then you do the last three? All right. The last number was a five. This one is going to be four and six. I lost again. Five, six, four. Did you win? Four, five, six. No. I lost again. I also lost again. Uh, we still have a good chance to win, though. I think yeah. we'll come back. We still have three shots. Okay, we'll skip past that. Ooh, that's a cool building. It looks like a... The, the bridge on the Olympia beer can, I mean. Oh, really? A little bit. Yeah. I wonder what bridge that is supposed to represent. Who's waving? Maybe it's the one over Capitol Way or there. There was somebody waving. I mm -hmm. can see that. Yeah, that is Multnomah Falls. That's Lots nice. Lots of people there go there. It was the... Uh, Parking was insane. People were parked like half a mile away, walking down the road. And it was busy, very busy. And it was a cool gift shop? to see it. It's a very tall waterfall. I think it's like 500 feet or something, maybe 600. Um, they do have a gift shop. They have a restaurant, lodge, cafeteria, and it's a state park. If I'm I remember right, but there's also partnership with the Forest Service, I think. Very tall, and it's cool that the water is flowing so well at this time of the year. This is the map. Mm -hmm. That is a big line. What is that line for? That's the upper sort of bridge. Oh, that's um, the bridge that we had the pictures of before, huh? Yeah. So, so people are crowded on the bridge and they have to take their time. Oh, that is horrible. Look at that. People taking the pictures of their iPads. So this is from the upper bridge. Shot of the upper falls. Wow. Did you feel the mist? Yeah, actually. Um, we did, it did spray over us briefly. There's Mount Hood. Ever been to Mount Hood? Um. Oh, I've seen those things. Those are weird. I don't know what those are. Yeah, there was a traffic slowdown right here. I think people slowed down just to gawk at them. They're always there, though. Yeah. I don't know what they mean. Probably nothing. What does that say? Europe is? You know, it's just ridiculous. Well, I want to see it. Go back. Wait, wait. What is it? What's the message? I've seen this message. Europe is seizing private pension plans. Plans. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That guy doesn't have very much credibility in my book. <laughs> that sign, sign yeah. guy. Yeah, he's pretty wild usually. Here's low tide. Last week, sometime. Here, this is Portland. Is there some stuff you saw on the streets in Portland? Yeah, streets of Portland. Snoop Dogg. There's some flies in here right now. I oh, haven't man. noticed that before. What are they doing? I don't know. Anyway, this is like a little market in downtown Portland. And this, I wanted to show you this. I, I really enjoyed this performance. It made me smile. Try that. 
turn the bass? Here, oh, he's turn the bass. Hey, uh, what's your name, young man? Malik. Malik, tell her tonight. Malik. 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 Yeah. Malik. He's, okay, you guys, watch Malik. See, he's, he's got some, some dance moves. Yeah, you guys dance with Malik. Go ahead, Malik. Woo! Oh, 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 yeah! Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. For your feet, or you found them in the bottle. What's your name with the hat? Come here for a second. She's a buff girl. Uh, you really need somebody with that hat. He's been rocking with children. He had a command over the kids. Yeah. <clears throat> this is in the downtown area? That kid said no, though. Yeah. Yeah, this is right downtown by the water. One kid's got a stick. Thomas, that was not a very high jump. Yeah! All right, hey, let's, let's, let's keep going. How much more stuff? Oh, <laughs> look at that thing. Okay, and here's the rose garden. You got a lot of bees, huh? Ooh, like freaky. Red That's red a real time. Oh yeah. Whoa. Some crazy zoom thing or something. Look at those bees. Flowers. That's nice. Yeah. This one has a nice pan shot on it. This is the Rose Garden. The Rose Garden is also the stadium in Portland, right? I think so, yeah. So there's a Rose Garden and there's like a Rose Garden Stadium too, huh? Yeah. Competition for names. People been skating. Name and competition. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I can't imagine somebody skating down there. But Perfect rail for it, I guess. Yeah. We're grinding the rails there. No, oh, wow. Where is this? Is it archery range? This is all in the park. It's right outside of downtown oh. Portland. Big forest park, and then there's the. This is public. Botanical. There's an arboretum. There's, there's a Japanese garden, rose garden, Holocaust memorial train that runs around all in there, archery, so. Is this, can you just go there? They, they have stuff there or you have to bring your own bow? You have to bring your own, I'm pretty sure. Whoa. You ever tried this before? I've shot a bow I have. before. Have you? I have. It's pretty yeah. fun. Yeah. It, you can definitely hurt yourself, though. It kind of makes you sting a little bit. It's a weapon. Yeah. Yep. What kind of uh, bow did you shoot? I don't know. Five, four, it's time for a commercial break. We'll more about this when we get back. Now it's time for a commercial break. Dance, Oli, dance.
Dance, Oli. Dance. Live TV dance party. First Friday of each month. 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. TCTV Studio A. 440 Yager Way. Oh, yeah. Coming up tomorrow on the program, it's a message from the future. Hi, Kat. Hi. Yeah. 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 Hey, everybody. It's, it's your daily hour with me, commercial. Today uh, on the show, we have Kat, and we talk about things and look at video of a dog and also of. Um, what is it? A praying mantis? The uh, dog's gonna jump in the water. Go, hurry, dog! It's not. Uh, you have to. I guess you might have to watch. Ah. Uh, well, right, 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 right. on TCTV channel 22. Check it out. Yeah, run, dog. Your daily hour. Here we are, back after a break, refreshed, revived, ready to go, feeling like wow. Somewhere along the way, we found the fountain of youth. Not sure what it is, but we found it. So it's good news. Did you guys have a good break? Did you get a snack? Yeah. Did you get up? And did, did you, you use the restroom? A little walking. Bathroom? Wash your hands? Powder your nose? We got some buzzing. Do you have any, uh, any events coming up to promote, Bob? You have, like, uh... Um, hmm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me think about it. Um, uh, there's going to be a benefit for Scott Yost to help with his legal fees. There's tons and tons of events coming up. Um, I am not the best event person. I would love it if there was an event person out there who could, you know, call the program. Scott just has to pay his legal fees? Scott has to pay his legal fees. So there's going to be a silent auction sort of dinner party. He needs to raise about $1,500. Do you have a lawyer? Yes. Yep. And uh, then um, there's also uh, a big event at West Central Park on the 7th of September. What's that? Uh, <coughs> you don't know what West Central Park is? That is? The one, is that the one by the, uh, on the corner? Yeah. The new one? Yeah. I just didn't know what they were calling it. Yeah. That's the title of it, huh? Yep. I don't think they should have a better title. I guess West Central Park's okay. Let's go to this footage, because uh, we got more to look at. Yeah, West so Central. West Central, and then there's Arch Walk on October 4th. Of course, that's coming up. That's going to be awesome. This is, uh... Um, that's not for a while, though. This is the uh, this is McMenamin in Portland. They have this is called like the boiler room, and they have all these pipes in there. And it's a really neat place. And the staff were really cool. So. McMenamin's is a chain. Yeah, Portland Ketchup Company, Natural Ketchup, Terminator Mustard, Voodoo Donuts. And this is a field next to one of the Voodoo Donuts. This is at Lewis and Clark um, College, University. Is that a dorm? That's the business office. Um. 
Oh. Busy. It's the freeway. Trees. Oh, what is that? This is a squirrel. I think uh, it looks like it's a like a ground. It's a particular type of squirrel that likes wilderness. It's like a wolf. And this one is kind of cool. There's some birds flying around. I think they're raptors. This is, so this is the parking lot at Eagle Creek. It's beautiful. I mean, it's worth just going to the parking lot. It's so pretty. Yeah. Wow. Tweet, tweet, birds. Maybe they're on the next video. Those are the hawks, you think? Um, yeah. This is the dynamite uh, one? Yeah, this is the dynamited out trail. Uh, oh, like was the guy cliff was dynamited in order to make a trail. So otherwise it would just be a cliff? Uh-huh. Is that, is that scary? Yeah, actually, it was definitely scary walking on it. You know? Oh, but yeah. Like, there were a couple places where it was probably 200 feet. How far down. down is that? Wow. That's a far drop. That's kind of scary. Yeah, you think there's yeah. a or anything? Oh, yeah, definitely some, but it's, well, there's a lot of just, you know, solid rock there. So, that guy just, like, passed us. He's a hot shot. This is dynamite. When, when did they do the dynamite thing in the way, way back? This is just a pretty forest. Area. Oops. Hmm. Wow. What? Well, waterfalls, huh? Yeah. This is like the middle falls and punch bowl falls. How far into the woods is this? This is about two miles. But it went really fast because the cliffs are so cool. People are swimming. Three, really. And I love the way this water looks. It's very clear. Look at the ripples of the rocks. Yeah. Wow! Mm -hmm. You've been out in the nature of yours, experience nature like this. Just look at some rocks. Was that water cold? Was it running? Usually it running was pretty cold. It was cold, but it wasn't like super cold. Mm. It was. Um, it felt good after like being in it for a minute, you know. Yeah, like, going there. Yeah, well, I. I put in my feet there and I, I did go swimming at the end um, which is really nice and this is a high bridge about 3.3 miles in high bridge? yeah we turned around to high bridge how far is the high bridge? you can go like pretty far in I think the, the map shows 14 miles, but there are a couple loops you can do, too, that are, like, longer, a little longer. So, this is just a pretty shot of the, the tree. Panning up a little bit with some light. Wow! Nature! We have some stuff that's coming up tomorrow. Cat's gonna be here. Maybe we should call Cat. We can call her while we're watching this video. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna. We should call Freddie the producer too. Find out how the production end is going. Maybe I'll show one more from this, and then we can go to the. There's our third dice game, so we got ten minutes left. Yeah. Um, and then we can zoom through the sand in the city shot. Oh yeah, we got rid of that stuff too. 
Oh. Maybe we should get to that. Okay. Some more problems that we got. You have reached the voice mailbox of eight okay. one five two one oh. seven, nine nine. Hi, Cats, the program. You're scheduled to come on tomorrow. Uh, I want to do the program maybe in the evening, late evening. Uh, you can call back here. Thank you. You have about 10 minutes if you want to make it on the show today. Okay, here, let's call uh, Freddy next, Freddy the producer. And find out how the production is going. Here we go. Calling Freddy the producer. Bird's getting the second camera. We're going to look at what we did today. Stay in the city. This was earlier today. When was that? All that other stuff from a while ago, right? A week ago? Nope. We're not seeing it. It's plugged in. Not plugged in. That's why. Sometimes it does it, but sometimes it is not plugged in. All right, here it is. Look at this sand of the city stuff. These are some sand capsules. Look at this. Hey, you did pretty good. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you give me a nice message, then I will call you back. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddy, it's the program. You can call us back. You only have a few minutes, though, if you want to take it on today. Okay, thank you. I'm trying to call Dan Dobler. This is called Dan Dobler. People are meticulously sculpting these sand castles. Sand? Regular sand, beach sand. I mean, how, like, what kind of different sands are there? Oh, uh, yeah? Yes. How did you do this? Smooth. What is smooth? Hi, you've reached the cell phone of Dan Dobler. Please leave a message at the beep. Thanks. Bye. What a nice day. Hey Dan, it's the program. I'm calling you. You can uh, call us back. Thank you. We only have a few minutes left on the program today. That was all the same castles, huh? Not too many. Uh, we found some more. Found some more on the other side. Uh, we'll uh, we'll get to that. Some stuff I haven't seen. Yeah. I took some shots of those. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is. I um I accidentally turned on the camera and left it on for a couple minutes there. Here's some of the other wild ones. where the wild things are. Oh, these are the ones I haven't seen. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. What is that, a robot? Yeah, I think so. I don't know how they make this stuff. Is it sand all wet? How do they get it to carve so well? It's a special kind of sand and they reuse it every year. Really? Yeah. That's gross. It seems kind of gross. Maybe it's a, like molding sand. It's Maybe they have sand. to dry it out. They also put sticks in there for like the higher stuff. Because oh. the sand would be too heavy if it was that high. Sculpting sand. There were uh, more, more than one where the wild things are. I think. That's pretty and weird. this, I sat here for like half an hour. I sat here for 35 minutes. Well, oh, that's pretty and nice. Look at that water. So we'll watch the. I'm always interested. This is fresh water. It's lighter than salt water, so it floats to the top quite rapidly. It actually sort of like, rip, you know, like is raised 
Is that where, what that ripple is right yeah, there? Yeah, that's a freshwater pipe uh, exit. So I'm going to do a time lapse thing on this. We'll see the tide rise a little bit. Hopefully. Is it rising? Can we see it? I don't know. See the clouds move across. The light change. About 35 minutes. Can you fast forward faster? This is I, this is it. I Maximum think. fastness. Yep. We're watching the tides go up. Let's see if it's going. I can't tell the difference between the tides yet. I yeah, this isn't a very good shot, but I wanted to get that water outfall. The water. But you nice. can see it is going up there. Okay, and then this is at Percival Landing. Somebody's doing High some tide. light stuff. Huh? What's that stuff over there? That is uh, one of the ships. There's two log ships in port right now. And this is one of them. This oh. is Yangtze. Freddy's calling us back. Pioneer. There's also Astro K. Hello. Hey, program. It's hey. Freddy. I'm calling you back. How are you doing? Doing good. I'm up in Soma at uh, Bob Java Jive. We're looking at uh, boat footage of boats that bird shot on his camera. Oh, boats, huh? Oh, yeah. There's what, birds like Stand in the City? Yeah, we look at Stand in the City, now we're looking at the, the boats. No, no, no. Whoa, the last day of Yelm Week. Oh, yeah. What's hey, did you guys week? have a good time in Yelm Week? Nobody really had too many Yelm stories, but uh, what's next week? Jew oh, it's Jewish Week, right? Where's the calendar? Happy Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. Yeah, we're getting up to the... I forget what you're supposed to say on Yom Kippur. Yeah. <clears throat> we should have told Lewis about Jewish Week. Uh, oh, Hi. there's this is the... Hi, Freddy. How's the production end going, Freddy? Production end? Um, well, on our end, it's going really good. There's, I am a little worried about Sunday's episode just because... I turned in a bunch of stuff yesterday and today, but I don't think Bill has been in since. So we'll see if Sunday gets aired. But um, other than that, we are clear all the way through halfway to September on 2 a.m. episodes, and on the 11.30, uh, we're all the way till next Wednesday. So it's going pretty good, I think. Great. One minute left. Uh, one minute left. Hey, anything else? You see anything wow. in Tacoma? Uh, anything on the street? Um, no, everything's been pretty calm. No, no wild things on the streets or anything. Um, I, I wish I had something to say. No, I, I, I can't think of anything. Well, we're looking at the streets right now in this video. Hey, Freddie, thanks uh, for uh, the production in there. And it's the end of the show. Thanks, yeah. uh, Dan Dobler and Freddie. I want, I, I want to talk about background tape too. Yeah, I think we might work on that tomorrow. I got, I made uh, some new graphics. So I think we'll be ready to make that happen. Hey, it's the end of the show. Yeah, thanks everybody. Oh, we, we forgot to, to do the last dice game. Oh, Kenny, do you want to roll it? Yeah, yeah Freddie, do you want a number? Yeah, give me a six. Oh. Six? Five. Oh. oh five. You won. Yeah, you won. Two. You won. You, you got two billion points. Uh, yeah, you, you won overall, though. What number did you have? I had a two. I had a one. I think, Freddie, you won. You're the winner. Thanks, everybody. It's good to be a winner. Thanks for having me on the program. Congratulations. Thanks, Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and the website. Check out that website. Uh, Thanks, phones. Getting harder and harder. Here you go. Thanks, crew. Have fun in Tacoma. Thanks, USA. Drive safe. Washington State, there's some county... Thank you. TheBaby.com, check it out. Crystal Ball, change your name soon. Jordan E. and Yelm, thank you. And the Yelm Week. Thanks, TCTV. Thanks, viewers, that's you, you're watching. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye-bye. Mm,